Hello everyone, in this episode I'm going to talk about how we can send messages to particular clients or users using SignalR in Blazor WebAssembly applications. In the previous episode, I talked about how we can create a SignalR hub on the server side and a hub connection on the client side so that we could send and receive messages through this SignalR hub. For that, we wrote some code. We created a chat hub which was inheriting from a SignalR hub so that we could use its client's property to send messages to all of our clients. And to kept on listening to the SignalR hub, we wrote some code on the client side so that we could receive the messages which are sent from our SignalR hub. But instead of sending messages to all of our clients, I would like to send messages to only particular users. For that, we could use this client's users function which takes users as parameter, which is a string array of user IDs. And then we can send messages to only these users. Now this string array is list of user IDs. I'm sending it to the user ID, which is the person that I would like to talk to. And from user ID and the person who is sending this message. And these user IDs are the same user IDs that we add as claim types in our claims identity whenever we log in the user. So I already had one claim type, which was email address of the logged in user. I added another one, which was name identifier, which was logged in users, user ID. And once we add these as claims in our claims identity, then we could use that to send messages to those users. Now let's add this code in our application and send messages to particular user instead of sending it to all of our clients. First thing that I'm gonna have to do is whenever I log in with user, I'm gonna have to add that user's user ID as one of the claims type in claims identity. For that, I'm going to go to my server project and open my users controller. And whenever I log in, I call this login user web API to log in the user into the system. And I'm already adding users email address as one of the claim types in claims identity. This way, we're going to also have to add users name identifier. I'm going to add claim name identifier and the claim type is going to be name identifier and this is going to be users logged in users user id i'm going to convert that into string because user id is long data type and then i'm going to add this claims name identifier as another claims type in my claims identity now we can use this user ID in our chat hub. So we created this chat hub and we were sending it to everyone. Now we can use user IDs to send messages to particular clients. And we are receiving from user ID and to user ID. If I go to the message that we're receiving, we have to user ID and from user ID in this object. And we can use that to send messages to particular clients. So let's first make a list of users. I'm going to create new string array in which I'm going to add messages to user ID so that the message will be sent to the user that we want to talk to. And we would also like to send this message to from user ID, the person who's sending the message so that they will also see that message. Now, I'm going to use this clients, which is coming from this signal R hub. I'm going to use that clients users function, which takes string array as parameter. So it takes read only list of string. I'm going to pass that in here so that we can talk to particular users instead of sending message to everyone. Now I'm going to go back to my clients. And then I'm going to refresh my browser so that we get the latest bits. And then I'm going to log in with John Smith here. 
and I'm going to log in with Julius Caesar here. I need to fix this image. It kind of scares me. And then I'm going to go to Julius Caesar's chat box. I'm talking to Julius Caesar from John Smith's account. And we are logged in at Julius Caesar here. And we would like to talk to John Smith. Now, whenever I send the message, I get the message in my chat box. And also Julius Caesar gets a message from John Smith. Now this code has a problem. If I go to contact and then if I open Gary Thomas's chat box and then try to send the message, then also Gary Thomas is also receiving that message. And that's happening is because our Signaler hub knows the to user ID and from user ID. It does not know which window, which chat window we have opened on the client side. And that's something that we'll have to fix on the client side. For that, I'm gonna go to my client project and open my chat.razor. And here, whenever we receive the message, I would like to add an if condition here. And that if condition is going to look like this. So whenever we receive the message, we would like to make sure that we wanna show that message to only users whose chat window is open. So if you look at this condition, then you'll see that this two conditions are same. The from user ID into user ID is what we have mentioned in this chat hub. But the second condition is, we wanna make sure that we would like to receive the message who we are actually talking to. I'm gonna save this file and then go back to my applications here. And I'm going to refresh this page and see if that fix works or not. So John Smith is trying to talk to Julius Caesar. Now I'm going to try and send the message. And you can see that Gary Thomas is not receiving that message anymore. If I go to contact and open John Smith's window and then send the message, then you can see that John Smith is receiving message because that's who we are talking to. There is one thing that I fixed here. So if I send the message, you can see the scroll bar is coming down on the chat box here. For that, I added a JavaScript function. If I go to my root folder and open site.js, I added a JavaScript function to set the scroll properly. And I'm calling this JavaScript method in my chat.razor component on after render so that we set the scroll bar properly also there is one more thing that i want to fix is after sending the message i would like to clear this text box for that i'm going to go to my send method and here i'm going to set message text to empty so that whenever we send the message this text box gets cleared and I'm running .NET Watch, and that's why we are tracking the file changes, and it's getting recompiled so that whenever I refresh the page, I see the latest bits. Now, whenever I send the message, the message box gets cleared. So this is how you can send messages to particular clients using SignalR. If you have any questions, you can ask those questions in the comment section below or you can reach out to me on Twitter or Facebook. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.